morning, good morning. We're on our way to, where well, we in Cozumel right now. So we about to get off this ship and go to the Tabasco's excursion. Tabasco's Chef Mistro cooking, tasting, and drinks. Departs at nine, it's 811. And I got on my um, bathing suit up under this because uh, they said it's an infinity pool there. We can go and get in, an in the infinity pool after we get done cooking. And I don't like going into those bathrooms changing. So yeah, I just put my bathing suit up under this. I got on some shorts, y'all. <laughs> These shorts I got from, like, I don't even want to say it. <laughs> I got it from Burlington and they fit so good. And then this shirt, I made a mistake and grabbed Naya's, but it fit good. I bought me and Naya one of these um, Peanuts or Charlie Brown shirts. And I made a mistake and grabbed hers. This is a size small, actually. <laughs> and I'm like, huh? So I, I did have to stretch it out around here though. <laughs> I like stretched it. And I, you know, I usually wear a size medium. So obviously they run big. And look at this handsome chunk of chocolate chunk <laughs> i said that all stupid what chunk of chocolate, <laughs> chunk of chocolate. <laughs> no that's what he got on and i think oh this is burlington right nah this old navy oh okay oh, oh, excuse navy. me <laughs> excuse I'm, me I'm high class old navy right that's his <laughs> old navy high class luxury <laughs> hey i always say luxury is subjective yeah. but that's your luxury it is <laughs> Yeah, you got on this backpack. I just like Old Navy and that place in the mall. What's the mall? What's the place in the mall? H and M. H and M because it's like simple. H and M kind of expensive sometimes, but yeah. it's just it's just simple. Like I, I like simple stuff. See, that's why I don't like wearing shorts. Look at that. What? See, I hate that. Look. What? Yeah, you have to constantly pull the shorts down. Well, I do. Okay, so we about to go down and eat breakfast, and I got my um bag packed here with my towel i got i brought a hat just in case well visor i almost forgot what deodorant. oops i, I always put my clothes on and then i be like uh, i don't know why i be out here stinking cooking food <laughs> um i got my cover up and then i got my key card in here i got some lip balm hand sanitizer and then in here i got my wallet it's a zipper compartment right there i got my wallet and passport I feel like, oh let me get them tickets again i'm like i feel like it was something else in that pocket i'm about to leave these mugs right here because of y'all it's the onions that's all it is son. right <laughs> it's trying to be musty while we cook it though it's the onions, right, it's the onions. <laughs> mexican onions <laughs> Let's go. The only thing set. I'm missing is like a gold chain or something right here. All right, y'all, for breakfast, I'm just having some oranges and some grapefruit because I didn't want to, you know, feel all heavy this morning because I've been eating <laughs> those chicken sandwiches like none other. So, I'm trying to give my digestive system a little rest. And plus, we're about to go cook and eat anyway. <laughs> yeah, that man. Some water. It, it tastes like they put some kind of um, syrup on this. I don't know. Because it tastes sweet. Like unnaturally sweet though. And I get like a nasty chemical aftertaste. So that sucks. I think they like put some kind of syrup so it can be sweet. Because I don't mind eating grapefruit, you know, naturally with no sugar or anything. So they messed it up. It's 8.30. Okay, we want to go get some more water and then we are um, head off the ship. Yeah, one of my pet peeves in like the buffet area, when people put their water bottle up there to get ice or pop or water, like that's so irritating. Like. It takes all of two seconds to fill up a cup uh, with your drink or ice and then dump it in the water bottle. 
like, I don't know, that's just real, real unsanitary to me. And it was this lady in front of me, she had two water bottles sitting there. And I already knew that she was just about to put it up there, so I hurried up and got in front of her. <laughs> and sure enough, when I got done, I, I turned around, her butt was sitting up there. Where you drink off of can touch the nozzle of the ice machine where the ice come out or the, um, the nozzle of the pop of the water. That's so irritating to me. And another pet peeve of mine at the buffet is when people be standing up there, like getting the food, you know, getting their food. Wait, and you say that, when I went to get water at that water, uh -huh. this dude had his bottle Wait, touching the thing. That's what I was just no, telling no, him. No, he, he had the mouth up and touching the thing. Yeah. It filled up, overflow. I was like, because he had one of the bottles you can't even see. See, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. Ain't nobody to monitor that, bro? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We was on one ship. It was either Norwegian or uh, Royal, where the worker, they sit there and they be watching. Uh -huh. And one of them caught this one like, like uh-uh, uh-uh, you can't do that. And then she, but she was already in the process of doing it and they actually cleaned it off right after her. They changed it, like, but I know you can't watch everybody, but I don't know, I just thought you you should just have common sense to not do that. Like, I would never do that, it's so nasty. Right, so his mouth part, it was one of the skinny ones though. Yeah, another pet peeve of mine is when you sitting up there at the buffet, you getting your food, you sitting there eating as you getting your food. So you, you know, eating with your hands and then you go and touch the so utensils, utensils and stuff like that. Like, yeah. it's kind of different because you know, like, when you see it, you know, sometimes like what they say, out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. Cause you, you know, you don't really think, you know, like when I first got on the ship, you just go get the water. You don't think about, well, did somebody do the water bottle thing? But um, you don't really think about it, but then it's like, oh, you, you start to, you know, when you see it, it's like, ugh. <laughs> so, whatever. That's why every time after I use the utensil at the buffet, I come with some hand sanitizer and wipe my hands off. But, hey, that's what comes with being around a lot of people, you know, getting on cruise ships and stuff or wherever. Or just a buffet in general, whatever. Yeah, that's that's what comes with it. <laughs> Cleo and Stu have told us so. it's a royal ship right there. So I'm a sorry, royal. We usually don't be on this side. I'm sorry, royal. And the region. You're right. It's Bobo over there. That's the Mariner of the Seas. We've been on that one a few times. Oh. Turn around. What the heck? So we were talking to Keisha yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. And she was asking us how do we like Carnival, but too early. too early to tell, right? Yeah. I mean, it has its pros and its cons, just like every other ship. So. What are the pros so far? The different selection of the food. Yeah. And then, yeah. Right, so, if you were to compare it to Royal quality-wise, the food and the buffet versus their food in a buffet? Well, I think their buffet is whack. <laughs> their buffet, Carnival buffet is whack. And I think they do that because it's so many other food options. Because every time we went to the buffet, it wasn't that many people at the buffet. They were no. all at the different food venues. So yeah, yeah. they not about to have an extravagant, or not even extravagant, like a, a that's why I was gonna say it's not necessarily whack. It's very small. It's smaller. It's yeah. like two. It's like a couple islands with like less. Like yeah, but all the four same of them thing. Had the, same the exact thing. same thing. This so. probably was a bad time to do this because it's probably all this background noise. No, I think you could hear. It's good. We we'll see. We could always redo it, but we we'll yeah, see. The service is good. The service <laughs> is good. Our, um, room attendant. You know, nice. At least we seen our room attendant. Right. <laughs> I, I would still be talking about that allure of the seas, man. That was messed up. Viva la Mexico. Uh, no 
a welcome drink. Cooking class. Mm -hmm. Say stay around. Cooking class, stay around. Uh, it's pretty good. Like, I'm saying. Yeah. He said no alcohol for now. 20, 14, 15, 16, 16, 25. Did I miss somebody's ticket? So are you ready to get I mean have fun? Yes. <laughs> Follow the cute guy. <laughs> Two people per station. So choose a station and wait for me, okay? What do you think about the horrible office view? Yeah. I have to deal with this every day. It gets worse on spring break. <laughs> horrible. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Holland in the Kitchen. This is where we're going to work. Once again, my name is Luis and I'm going to be your chef today. What's my name? Luis! Let me introduce you very quickly to the rest of the team. First of all, the second in charge here is Mr. Tonio. Everybody say, hola, Tonio. Hola, Tonio. He's going to be helping us around the class, so whenever you need something, you can ask him. Also, we have our drink team. Let me introduce you to Mr. Carlos. Hola, Carlos. Mr. Lalo. Oh. These two guys are going to be your best friends today because they're going to supply alcohol to you. <laughs> and also, people, we have our backstage. Let me introduce you to another Carlos. Hola, Carlos. Hola, Carlos. He did all the prep. Everything that you'll see chopped and ready, he did. Okay? And last but not least, we have this Yvonne. Hola, Yvonne. She has the most difficult part of the job because she's doing the dishes. So she deserves a big applause. <laughs> and as a special guest today, we have Miss Berenice, or very nice, or not very nice, your personal Mexican paparazzi. Okay, she's gonna be taking pictures, okay? Now, we want to begin the class and we need to look like chefs. On your stations, you have those paper hats. Before you put it on, you write your name on the bottom center edge of the hat. Bottom center edge. Right here. So I can yell, I mean, call you by your names. You may put your write your name on the bottom center edge, and then to put it on, you're going to measure it around your head and take it off so we can staple it together. Now to your head, together. Okay? Make sure it look right. Cleveland. Javon? Yep. Yes. Tom, Jennifer, Chuck, Jasmine, Tim, Terry, Steve, Alejandra. <laughs> now that you look like chefs, let me tell you something. What do you think you should be the first thing to do before we start a cook? Watch your hands. Guess again, you're on vacation. Have a drink. Drinks, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we open our drinks and walk in and we wash our hands, okay? We can offer you a lot of things. Margaritas, rock punch, pina colada, strawberry napkins, oh. beer, soft drinks, or any of these drinks, Without alcohol. Let's begin with the most popular ones, margaritas. Anybody would like a margarita? We have one margarita, two, three, four margaritas, four margaritas, five, six, seven margaritas, eight margaritas, nine, ten, nine, nine. Okay. Eighteen. Okay, okay. Well, you can jump. How about a rum punch? Anybody would like a rum punch? We have one rum punch over there. We have two rum punches, three rum punches, four 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 rum so, the four rock punches. How about pina coladas? Anybody would like a pina colada? We have one, we have two, we have three, we have four. We have five pina coladas over here, we have five pina coladas over here. Five pina coladas over here, five pina coladas over here twice. Strawberry daiquiris with alcohol. No, one with alcohol. So, let me tell you our menu for today. We're going to cook three different dishes. As an appetizer, we're going to make a shrimp cocktail. Which is going to be simple, the shrimp is already cooked, we're going to learn how to make a Mexican cocktail sauce. Okay? Then as the main course, we're going to make something called cochinita pibil. This is a very traditional Yucatan style pork, marinated with some red spices wrapped in banana leaves. As a side dish, we're going to make some pickled red onions that we normally eat together with this plate. And then as a dessert, we're going to make some sweet potatoes in a syrup. And then we're gonna turn the syrup into a caramel and tequila sauce. Okay, we're gonna be sure, sure, sure. 
one nostril and one with okay, yes, a lot one of with apple. Yes. Is everybody okay with Thank you. pork? I'm not. Yes, pork, pork, yes, pork, pork. One. No. Oh, two. Chick chicken. Two. Yes, chicken yeah, is fine. Chicken, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, those two words are now all the flavors, it's like... Rock punch. 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 Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll never forget about that one. He's giving you two. <laughs> he made an extra one. That's actually good. I would've got that one. I just don't like it frozen. This is delicious. It ain't as good as, what was that, St. Thomas. It ain't as good as that one, but this is really good. We're going to start cooking in a different order. We're going to cook first the main course, because we need to cook it some here, but finish it in the backstage. So, under the you're going to find a bunch of ingredients. Let me tell you what we have over there. In the metal tray, we have three containers. One of them has a pork. Today we're using pork lead. I hope we use all the parts, but today we're using pork lead. Next to that, we have red onions, and in the last one, white onions and bell peppers. Next to the metal tray, we have another white container with a mix of water and white vinegar. And then, people, the most important ingredient we're going to be using today is the red, mysterious stuff that you have in the metal bowl. Okay? This red, mysterious stuff is called achiote. Can you say it? Achiote. Achiote. I know it. Thank you. Pour it in and mix it up until everything turns oh. red. You want to use a spoon? Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead so it don't spill out like splash. There you go. Of course, I must say, once you have a pour, you're not allowed to taste it again. <laughs> hey, hold it up. Not good. It mix it very well until everything turns red. And once it does, you're going to push the bowl back to the front to leave it there marinating for a little while. I need you to bring out the biggest frying pan that you have. You must have two to bring out the biggest frying pan. Right now. You get to have the hollow pan in the pan right now. Then we're going to add the spices. And to start cooking that mix, Ladies, if you don't mind, I'm going to light your fire. <laughs> if it's okay with your husband, so I don't want to deal with the angry husband again. Okay. I don't want to suck it. Oh, hi, friend. Uh, yeah, but yeah, okay. okay, sure, I'll do it. <laughs> when it starts boiling, you're going to add the red onions. Half and half, unless you're married, it's probably 60 40. 80 20. 80 20. You need to find the Johnny Depp story. We're going to cook the pork in three stages. First, we're going to go high heat to sear the pieces of pork first. Second, we're going to turn the heat to medium. We're going to add more ingredients. We're going to add more liquids. We're going to cover with an annalise. And don't need to measure it, just eyeball it. Annalise, right. spread it out. More than a teaspoon, man. Yeah. Hmm. And then, with the tongs, it's easier. You're going to add only the pieces of pork in the pan. Right Only the pieces of pork don't dump all the sauce. Just the pieces of pork goes in the pan. Just, just, just the chicken, yeah. Don't pour the rest of the marinade yet. Just the pieces of pork, okay? Y'all like a meal? Yes. The rest, the rest of the marinating on top of the veggies. And mix them. That's good. I want misunderstandings. 
Rolling and the Achiote, the Achiote is my favorite. Ready for it, veggies, banana leaves cover. Go away. Some very nice decorations. My decorations. I also saw very, some very original ones I've never seen before. And then, up to this point, 
if you would like to make horchata, the no alcohol version of it, you would add regular whole milk to make it tres leches, okay? But today we're not making horchata, we're making rum chata. So instead of milk, a little bit of rum. <laughs> The best ba banana bread in the Caribbean. What else they got? I did a regular. Do you know how much? Six dollars. Oh, pistachio, Nutella, mango. Hello. Ooh, strawberry and cream. Strawberry and cream. Oh, I got bubble gum. Now you like that. Bubble gum. Okay. Uh, hey. Okay. Um. Just get a medium cone. Can I get how many scoops is that? In the medium? Yeah. Um, Eight dollars. Mm -hmm. Five scoops. Two flavors. Okay. Five I do the, yeah. Five. She said two. She said five. Wait, five? <laughs> I'm on five. Said five scoops, two, two flavors. Oh, wow. You said, you said, you said five, five scoops? Yes. Five. Yeah, oh, no, I don't want that much. <laughs> now I do a small then. I don't want that big. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, just one flavor. Um, dang, I'll do the strawberry and cream. Wow, I know. <laughs> Yeah, but I five scoops, so I don't. That's way too much. Thank you. y'all we back on the ship about to eat because i rarely ate what we cooked the only thing i really liked was the ceviche the shrimp ceviche that was really good but i only had a couple bites of the chicken we made so this restaurant is blue iguana rice 
and cheese. Need a scale off to success like it's braille. Brain on Ivy could have went to yell. If you make it rain, I make it hell. Cliche quotes never fail. Focus in the wrong, always yells. If you put in work, you prevail. Only quote I need is keep it real. Clothes all black, cars all black. Mm -hmm. Game on tap, game intact. Mm -hmm. First I scrap, then I stack. Mm -hmm. Only thing changes the location on the map. Clothes all black, cars all black. Mm -hmm. Game on tap, game intact. Mm -hmm. First I scrap, then I stack. Mm -hmm. Only thing changes the location on the map. Watch this plane to Lester's factory. Bought a Tesla, need no gasoline. She likes when we go on shopping sprees. Go from Nike straight to Louis V. Money power, I've been in between. I've been spending money like it's free. Kick it low and rally on the sea. Okay, so this is how much the bingo cards cost. I'm only gonna do the basic. $25 and I think you've got to buy this because I know in Royal you just punch it out punch the number out so you don't need this so I guess I'm gonna have to buy one of those yeah y'all see he had an attitude for absolutely no reason like oh you were filming me yeah uh, yeah he had an attitude for no reason and it says different you know optional you can choose your the different color or whatever that bingo thing is yeah, yeah, and yeah. I heard the other the other dude was asking him which color would you want. He just handed it to me like I don't like I don't get an option. I don't get a choice. <laughs> I don't care what color. But just because he did that, I said okay, I, I want orange. <laughs> just because I don't care what color. <laughs> just because he had an attitude, I was like oh yeah, I don't want that color. I want orange. Like. Anyway, how y'all doing? <laughs> I'm just not picking y'all up. Well, I'm just like, y'all just not seeing my face today. <laughs> Cause I've been like showing y'all little clips throughout the day. So t obviously today is a C day. I don't know if y'all can hear me, but <laughs> today is a C day. And um, it's about 12.30, no 12.40. 12.40, bingo starts at 1.15. About to try to win. So I got my orange. <laughs> <laughs> and one big uh, Oh, that was gonna bleed through like crazy. I <laughs> <laughs> 
team is any line bingo. Those are N33. Oh, it's hey. a bingo. And it's so big of a bingo. The people around them. Nice. Around she had a good board. We only did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight numbers. I love that. That was one of the greatest bingos of all time. That is good. Let's double check. This would be embarrassing if it's not a bingo. <laughs> Everybody. Oh, 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 oh. oh, on top as well. So you got one, two up there. Just one. Okay. So let's see with this first lady. Everyone, whatever you do, don't destroy your cards. Let's double check. I tell you what, buddy, I'll check it. Bring it over. Bring it over, man. The things I do up here. It's really this big. What's your name? Where are you from? Daniel from Georgia. Daniel, all the way from Georgia with Tyler, the underwear model. All right, are you an underwear model as well? Just, just pretend you are, man. Come on. Whoa! Damn! Oh, Three sixty. Tyler, did you see that? All right, it's a good bingo. My man, that is a good. That's a, that's an expensive piece of paper right there. Come on over here, my friend. You get to keep this as a souvenir. There you go, my man. All right, give it up for all our winners. Come on, they're at least going home with more than 10 bucks. Come on. All right, all right our bingo winners. Let Before this game, before we check them all, let's tap it out. Bingo go once, twice, three times. This game is closed. So our bingo winners, you got got $100 each. Give them a round of applause. That is nice. to do the um, bean bag challenge. I was like, you sure you want me on your team? I don't know if this is this is way too bright. But yeah, we about to do it. Nice, nice. Me and Cleveland was playing earlier, but I don't know. I'm good enough to be playing on the teams and jump. I hope this camera adjusts. Like it's super bright because the sun is right there. I was sitting here calling myself getting uh or sunbathing. <laughs> Like fully clothed, how am I sunbathing? <laughs> but I feel like want to get my put my bathing suit on, and the pool area is like, or in the pool is standing room only. So there's we wasn't getting in no pool. You know it ain't no chairs over there neither. Um, but yeah, we about to do the bean bag challenge. It starts in about 10 minutes. I was hoping you didn't have to have a teammate, but you do. So that means I gotta play. <laughs> So he can play because I kind of suck. So, you know, we've been having a good time. I know y'all wondering how we like uh, yep. the ship or carnival. I mean, like I was telling y'all earlier, every ship or every cruise line company has its pros and cons. Either way, I'm gonna make the best of it and have fun. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like um, I'm blessed, I'm appreciative that I can just get up and book a cruise. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm even on a cruise. <laughs> Let me go, y'all. Make a fool of myself. But yeah, y'all, I'm just happy I'm able to cruise when I want to. Because it's something that I love to do, so. I need you and your partner to stand right in front of me. Already how this is going to work. It is not a tournament style. You and your partner must complete an objective in each round in order to move on. If you complete the objective, you move on to the next round. If you don't, you are out. You get one shot at each round. Does that make sense? Each round is gonna have a different objective, whether it's getting a total amount of points, 
trying to beat an opponent or trying to get as many ringers as possible. But for your first objective, you just need to score six points with each player or each teammate getting four bags. So eight bags total, you need to get six points to move on to round two. All right, we did good, y'all. We was the second one and you had to get, or you got to get six for the first round. It's like, what y'all seen in the beginning, um, what he said. So we got six on the dot. And um, I was like, I'm gonna be rusty by the time we get back up there. Cause look how many people. Yeah. We did good. Yeah, she, she got the last little, I yeah. sunk one in the hole, I got a ringer. Mm -hmm. And then she, one bag left, she had to get it or we would have been out, she got it yep. on the board. <laughs> Good, we practiced earlier this yeah, morning. Yeah. <laughs> so we're still waiting, y'all. Uh, they made it. We still got all these people to go. But I want to set y'all up somewhere, but I can't, you know, when it's me and Cleveland turn. But I could, you know, set y'all right here, but I don't want to risk somebody, you know, first of all, somebody might stand right, not, might not see the camera and stand right in front of the camera, you know, not see it and knock it off. So, wish we had Naya here to, um, you know, record us. Or no, if Naya was here, she'd probably be playing with Cleveland because that's, that's his uh, game and partner. <laughs> this is the lady that I pointed out yesterday that I said reminds me of my sister. Come on, sis. Oh. Mm. 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 Ain't gonna make it. They get, they get, oh, yeah, they sink in two. Oh, they ain't got enough for uh, sink, sink in one or two. Two? That could be five right there. They got two more bags. Yeah, she can get it in. Oh! oh. He need to sink it. Oh! oh. Y'all see this dude with the green outfit on, matching from head to toe. They got in the elevator with us, and his his wife, uh, I think they, they're trying to figure out which floor or something. And she was like, I can't think with that outfit you got on. <laughs> I was, wait, did I hear that right? Each team member is on the same side. Your total score, you have to beat your opponent when they throw the bags back. Does that make sense? No. Yeah. 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 You still get four bags each. We For both get four person. bags each. We so have to beat the other team. team. Both teams gonna throw eight bags. We have to have more points. Than them. Yeah, oh, good. okay. Yeah. I'll come back and let y'all know if we moved on to round three. Y'all, why Cleveland won $85? He put in 20? Yeah. Yeah, he played 20 and won $85. Come on, he, he, come on, he done. But now he second thoughts. So, so you, you wanna keep playing or are we done? No, I'm don't I'm put saying. it up here. No, I'm gonna, do, gonna do? I'm gonna do five more spins. That's okay. it. No, seven. <laughs> seven more spins. Okay, yeah, completion. Okay, seven yeah, is Seven completion. Complete. If it's done, it's done. That's what it is. That's two. Well, we can't mix God and gambling now. <laughs> That's, you can maybe lose count. Oh. Six. Yeah. That's it. You got 30 cents. That's it, baby. There you go. Oh, nice this game crisp silent, huh? Hey, where my 41 cent at though? They probably just go stay on the card. Yeah, it's just gonna stay on the card. I need that. So I'm about to end the vlog here. We couldn't record the Family Feud game because he said something about copyright or something, but it was so fun. We just came back from dinner. What time is it? It's 10 o'clock. <laughs> we just came back from dinner. I ordered some dishes from Emerald's restaurant and it was so good. Um, it was like a Caesar salad, Cobb salad or something like that. It was like a mixture of the two and it was so good. And, oh no, maybe it wasn't a Caesar salad. It was a Cobb salad. Yeah, it was just a Cobb salad. And I had some shrimp and grits. So good. So every time I go to the main dining room, I'm ordering whatever dish, whatever Emerald's dish is on the menu. So yeah, today was fun. Um... We about to get in this bed and get rested up for tomorrow. Glad we don't have to be off the ship early. We don't meet up until 11. So that's a good thing. But yeah, I'll pick y'all back up. Oh, I got so much footage to edit. <laughs> so much footage. I don't even know how I'm going to like. 
put these vlogs together. I, I haven't even edited the footage from when we first left. But yeah, I'm about to get all snuggled up in this bed. And I will pick y'all back up tomorrow. You know, I always appreciate you hanging with us. I really do. Thanks for watching, y'all.